Next, number six. Blank is to money as earn is to ashes. Just like what we did in number five. Earn is to ashes. Earn is used to hold ashes. Now, what do we use to hold money? From the given choices, check out all the choices. Do we use cash to hold money? Do we use wealth, purse, inheritance? Which one do we use in holding money? Obviously, letter C. We use purse to hold money. Number seven, lawless is to order as captive is to blend. Lawless is to lack order. Therefore, the given words are opposite in meaning. They are antonyms. That's the relationship. Now, apply the same relationship to the other pair of words. Captive is to blank. From the given choices, which word has an opposite meaning to the word captive? Obviously, the answer is letter D. Freedom. Okay, captive means to lack freedom. Next number, number eight. Ribbon is to blank as icing is to cake. Okay, we use icing to decorate cake. Apply the same relationship to the other pair of words. We use ribbon to decorate what? Do we use ribbon to decorate typewriter? Or do we use ribbon to cut? Of course not. Okay, so eliminate those choices. Your choices left are letter A, present, or letter C, bow. A bow is also a ribbon, a bow tie. Do we use ribbon to decorate a bow? Of course not. Therefore, the answer is letter A, present, or gift. Okay, icing is used to decorate cake, and the ribbon is used to decorate present. Number nine, pineapple is to blank as orange is to Florida. Look at the uh, pair of words, orange is to Florida. Okay, orange is a fruit, and Florida is a state. What is the relationship of orange to Florida. Oranges are known to grow in Florida. So that is the relationship. Now apply the same relationship with the other pair of words. Pineapple is to blank. Pineapples are grown in which state? Therefore, choices letter A and D are obviously wrong. So you may eliminate those choices. So, choices left are letter B, Hawaii, and C, Canada. Is Canada known for growing pineapples? No. Is Hawaii known for growing pineapples? Yes. Therefore, the answer is letter B. Pineapples are grown in Hawaii. So, pineapple is to Hawaii as orange is to Florida. Last item for analogy type of questions. Number 10, blank is to dolphin as herd is to cow. A herd is a group of cows. So that's what we call a group of cows, herd. What is the term used to call a group of dolphins? Okay, is it ocean? Is it pod? Is it porpoise? Is it leap? The answer is letter B. A pod is a group of dolphins and a herd is a group of cows. Okay. I hope um, you have learned some strategies or ways in answering analogy type of questions. And also, I hope it is now easier for you to look at the relationship between words that are given in an analogy type of questions. Now let us have the next part of our discussion, which is writing. Okay. Identifying errors type of test will test your ability to recognize grammar and usage errors. 
Each sentence contains either a single error or no error at all. None of the sentences contain more than one error. Sentence is um, presented and some parts of the sentence, some words or phrases, are labeled with alphabets or numbers and underlined. And you're going to identify which underlined words or phrase makes the sentence incorrect. Let's go back to your pretest and let's try to answer all the items under identifying errors type of test. Number 11, because of the internet, working at jobs at home have become much more common. If necessary, read the sentence twice or thrice to make the meaning of the sentence clearer to you because it will make it easier for you to identify which part makes the sentence incorrect. From the choices A because of, B working at, C have become, and D no error, the part or the words or phrase that makes this sentence incorrect is letter C. The error is have become, which should be has become. The plural form of the auxiliary verb have is incorrect because the subject of the independent clause is working, which is singular. Thus, it takes a singular verb. And then the other underlined sections are correct. Next, number 12, pull it out by its plug, not by the cord, said dad. Choices are A, by, B, it's, C, dad, and D, no error. When answering questions under identifying errors type of test, you should also be reminded of the correct use of punctuations and capitalizations. In this sentence, obviously, the incorrect word is letter C, dad. Dad is a name of noun or a proper noun and it should be capitalized. By is a correct preposition to use here. It is the correct use of the third person singular possessive impersonal pronoun. And the punctuation at the end of the quotation is also correct. Next, number 13, symptoms of this illness that warrant a doctor visit includes fever, vomiting, and diarrhea, as well as the loss of appetite. In this item, the incorrect word is letter B. The word includes. It is incorrect because it is the singular form of the verb. But the subject, symptoms, is plural. Okay? The verb should be include. It should be without S. If the subject is plural, you should also use the plural verb. Okay? So it should be include. The subordinating conjunction that, introducing the dependent clause and its plural verb warrant, are both correct. Uh, vomiting is punctuated correctly as the last in a series of three or more words and the singular noun loss is also correct. Number 14, either Lisa or Karen will always volunteer their valuable time to serve on our board. Okay, do not be so confused on this uh, item. The incorrect word here is Letter B, the pronoun there. Why? Because of the use of the word either. When we say either, only one of Lisa and Karen, only one of them, will always volunteer. Therefore, the subject here is singular. So, the word there should be replaced with pronoun her. 
Next item, number 15. The conversation with her mother had a more profound effect on her than she expected. The incorrect word here is letter B, affect. Okay, the correct noun for this meaning is spelled effect, not affect. Instead of A, it should be letter E. Affect, when it is a noun, means mood or emotional state. Okay, when it is a verb, the meaning of affect is related to the meaning of the noun effect. The term mother here is correctly used. It should not be capitalized as it is a noun, not a name or proper noun. The other underlined parts are also correct.